Hello friends, there is an array of ingredients here and I'm a little curious as to what you would do with all these ingredients we have here. Tomatoes, peppers, fish, ginger, garlic and all of that. What will you do with these? I got many of these from the farmer's market and I'm just prepping my fish. Are you intimidated by prepping fish or cleaning fish? Well, join me as I go ahead and clean fish my way. Enjoy the video. I plan on using my fish for some tilapia soup and then frying the rest of the fish. You start by removing the scales and the fins, making sure all of those are removed. Some fishes come almost clean. Some have their skills removed and the fins removed already and the gut, the contents of the gut removed. You just want to go over this to be sure that everything is removed in some instances. Okay. See, I like to take off the tip of the mouth of the fish as well. very important step in cleaning fish is the use of naman to clean the fish it helps in cleaning it as in cleaning and then helps remove the fishy smell of the fish before you use it a good idea is to have it soaked in that lemon water for some time Now divide your fish into the shape and size that you so desire. However, if you were grilling this, you could leave the fish whole. You just need to make an incision, about three incisions on both sides of the fish for presentation purposes and for ease of eating after grilling. And usually during grilling, if you were grilling the fish, you will leave on some of the fins. You just shape it off. You leave some of the fins for presentation purposes, okay?
that our tilapia is done. We now turn our attention to the mackerel. I usually will do different fishes on the same day if I have to for ease of cleaning. I do this once and I clean. And what I'm not going to use that day, I just put it in a ziplock and put in a freezer so that I don't have to clean again another time. Pick off and throw away the head of the mackerel. It's quite some bloody fish, but once you clean it thereafter, it's okay that's how I remove the gut you press the opposite end and push it down It's quite bloody, but once you wash it, it gets better. Do exactly as I'm doing in taking off the, the gut, making sure you don't poke your fingers. It's quite smooth in there. Thoroughly wash your fish until your water is clear and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. And I hope you've enjoyed my way of cleaning my fish. If you've watched me this far, go ahead, like the video. And press that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.